Let's first add some basic text. Um, the basic text that we can add is, for example, if you're also doing a gear review, um, you might have some links in the description. So let's just type link in the description. In order to do that, we can go to the toggle or to the toolbar right here and we can click on type tool. Then we can click on the screen and I'm just going to type link in description. Now I always like to double click on it to make sure that the entire text is selected. And then we can go to effect controls and right here, you can change the appearance of the text. But what you can also do is open the window and then open essential graphics. Then go to edit. So here we have our link in description, right? So here we basically, if we compare the two, we basically have about the same things, but we have a little bit, we have a few extra things. So we could say, okay, I want this to be in the horizontal center. I want this to be aligned to the bottom of the clip like so. And if you wanna get your selection tool back, just click on this or press V. And then here you can change your fonts. I'm just going to go for the Adobe font. If we want this to be all caps, there is so many options here. Like I really encourage you to just try it out for yourself. You can make it bigger if you want. And then you can say, okay, I wanna align it again like so. You know, there's a lot of things that you can do. And this is how you would create some static text, right? Now, what if I told you that there is something inside Premiere Pro that is so beneficial for so many of you, myself included, that will make your life so much easier. It will make you look way more professional, even though this is your first time inside Premiere Pro. Let's go to the front and let's go right here into the essential graphics panel right here and click on browse. Now again, this is Adobe stock. We're going to click on Adobe stock. And again, it says browse templates available from Adobe stock. So click on that and here you'll find tons and tons and tons of templates. Click on free right here and then you'll just get all the free templates. So just browse through them if you want. You can you can choose something. So let's just say that I want a social media lower third and then we get all of these different options that we can pick from. Now I want this one. So I'm going to drag and drop that to the timeline. It's really that easy. And now we have our lower third right here and we didn't do anything for it. And now all we need to do is just, we need, just need to edit it. So I'm just going to click on this and then right here, I'm going to click on edit. It already had edit enabled and I'm going to change the text control. So here, this is the website. So let's say Instagram.com. And as you can see, it changed right here. And then for text two, it says username. Okay, cool. I'll write down my username, Lila from YouTube. And then, okay, cool. Now, the only thing I want, I don't want blue text because Instagram is more like pink. So I'm going to choose a hot pink by clicking on this right here and then i'm going to go and okay let's just do that why not right now we have this and now as you can see we see this really weird like triangle circle square thingy this is called media replacement and this is something oh my gosh this is this is so good we can go to style controls social icon style and this is where we would have to add our icon. So what I did, um, as you may have already seen, this is also, by the way, a great way to navigate through any of the bins or effects or whatever. If you don't see it right here, you can just click on the two arrows right here. So let me see, go to projects. We're gonna go to assets. And then here we have an Instagram logo, right? All we have to do is we have to drag this to this bit right here. Let me just first zoom in so you can see this, as you can see, matches this right here. So if I drag this to this and I drop it, and then I say use original color, and now we zoom in. Oh, that's my, oh, that's not what we wanna see. Now we have our Instagram logo. So let's just go back to fit. And then what we only need to do is the main color. We need to change the main color. I'm gonna choose the hot pink for this one. Um, let's just go for like, a, I don't know, like a purple or something. So I'm gonna go to effect controls and then to motion. You can just move it like so if you want to. You can make it bigger and then let's just drop it like so. So now let's play through it. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I hope that you're doing well in this video. It is, it is really good and there are so many free ones as well. It's really, really good.